So today I'm testing out a new microphone. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Hopefully it's clear. We'll see by the end of this video if it's a flop or not. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> we'll see. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very exciting, very glowy skin, dewy, beachy vibe kind of makeup look. I swear I have not filmed, I swear on so long, like at least a month or so. It feels like it's been forever. At least a makeup tutorial. I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial in at least a month. I have been doing vlogs lately. You guys have been so patient with me not posting up any makeup tutorials. I'm really, really sorry. I've been away on holiday, but now I'm back. I'm happy to film makeup looks again. I will keep up the vlogging and everything like that um, on my channel because I do what I do quite enjoy vlogging. It's something different. It's something new, and I do love like the editing part of it too. But of course, I will still be doing makeup tutorials for you guys, so it'll be a bit of both. So without further ado, let's get straight into this makeup look. Okay, let's get in nice and tight. Sorry if the lighting's not the best. I'm filming a little bit later today than I would, like, I was planning to. I forgot that I had work this morning when I planned to set today to film. But that's okay. Okay, first things first is priming your base for a nice dewy, glowy skin look. Keeping in mind this makeup look today that I am creating for you guys is so a very beachy, summery vibe look. You could wear it to the beach. However, the products that I'm using in this aren't waterproof. Some of them are, like really great at like adhesing to the skin and staying on but I don't think they're technically like waterproof so just keep that in mind if you do to intend this to intend to wear this look to the beach or something it may not stay the whole time but I don't know I'm not a big beach makeup wearer fan I, I like to like if I was to like wear makeup in swimwear it'd be to like a pool party or like drinks by the pool kind of thing like just something casual where I don't have to get my whole like shindig wet you know what I mean? So as I was saying, I get quite oily skin, but I am going to go in with like a kind of moisturizing base. I like this Hello Fab one. I've used it in a couple other tutorials before. So I like to use this because it is like a primer as well as a moisturizer. So it's going to keep your skin nice and nourished and hydrated. And it just smells amazing. Like honestly, I feel like I'm at the Bahamas sipping like a ma margarita or something by the pool. Or a pina colada actually, because like, it's like pineapple-y. It's like a coconut pineapple vibe is what I'm getting from this kind of coconut smoothie like primer. So now our face is nice and primed. What I'm going to go in next is like a liquid highlighter on the very high points of my cheeks. There's going to be a lot of highlighting today because it is quite a dewy skin look. Like I'm going ultra glow to the skin today. In saying that it is going to still be quite wearable. I don't like doing something so heavy like under the roof like kind of shaded area and then when you step out into like natural light and it just hits you like a ton of bricks and like how much product's actually on your face. I'm not really about that. I'd like to have something a little bit more like natural but still glowy and dewy. Glamish kind of thing. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to use a touch of this strobing liquid from Maybelline. Just a touch on the cheeks. The very high points. Hitting that brow bone a little bit too. And just bring it onto the apples but not too much, just a soft little bit. And I really like to kind of just blend it into the skin. So it's kind of surrounding that like little C shape on the face. So it lifts the brow bone as well as the cheekbone. Just as your face catches the light. Mm. Mm. Delicious. So back to it, I'm going to next apply a BB cream, but mix it a little bit with like a liquid highlighter. However, this one's like a body glow, but you can use it on the face. So I'm going in with the Natasha. So I'm going to take my Natasha Denona body glow in the shade medium and mix it with this BB cream from Garnier. This is in the shade medium as well. So it's quite tan. Oh dear lord. It's coming out with a bloody explosion. Ooh, it just like exploded on my legs. <laughs> so I don't actually need this much, but I'm just going to use a little bit. And then I'm chucking some of the uh, Natasha Denona liquid highlighter in there as well to really just kind of give a bit of a glow to this BB cream. And I'm using a BB cream because I want it to be a little bit more of like a soft, like natural look. I definitely don't want anything too heavy today. It's more of like a just glow. A skin just glow up, you know? Oh my god, that like liquid highlighter, that body glow is insanely beautiful. 
So I'm just using that over the face and I'm also going to bring it down onto the body as well. However, I'm really just going to kind of bring that body glow, not so much like actually like the BB cream, more just having a bit of that body glow onto the decolleté areas. Oh, and it literally just looks like you've got a beautiful summer tan, summer glow kind of look to your skin. For concealer, I'm literally just going to take a smidge bit of this one from the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and just apply that under the eyes. And I apply the most part of the product on the inner corners of my eyes because that's where I get the most discoloration. And whatever's left, I'm just going to kind of place it lightly across the eyelids just to neutralize them a little tad, a little tad bit. So next I'm going to take this Laura Mercier Universal Translucent Powder and I'm literally just going to lightly sweep that under the eyes and where we've placed that concealer down just to kind of set that lightly in place. Now I don't want to apply like too much powder to the skin because I want to keep the glow that we've got going. So I would use a brow pencil if I had one at this point in time. I'm still yet to go get one of those babies. So I'm going to use a brow powder but like just do a little kind of like flicks through the brow hairs where it needs to kind of be touched up, where it's a little bit sparse. So I'm just taking my brow powder from Maybelline, you guys know the drill, I use this all the time, I love it so much. And just fill in kind of the tail end of my brow where it's the most sparse. And then just kind of fluff them up a little bit so they're not so intense. And then taking a tinted brow gel to just kind of do the rest of the fluffing up a little bit and add a little bit of colour to the hairs. And that's just the kind of brow look that I've been going for lately. Especially when I was away on holidays, I literally would just do such a soft brow look. Um, soft for me. So to continue with the bronzed glow, I'm literally just taking a smidge bit, a smidge bit of this cream kind of contour. It's the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, but I find it, it works so well to bronze rather than contour. I mean, it does give a contour, but I just find it, it bronzes the skin so well. So I'm applying that just like delicately along the kind of perimeters of the face just where you naturally get a bit of sun if i could rave about a product more it would be this like i just feel like of all the makeup products i've ever used or will ever use that's a big statement to make i just feel like this contour stick is amazing like i just think it's perfect i use it on my no makeup days when i just want to have a little bit of color to my skin look like i've got a nice little tan going I can just pop it on the perimeters and it just it just gives such a next level look to your skin. And then um, over top just a little bit I'm going to add some of this velvet bronzer contour stick from LA Girl. It doesn't have a lot of pigment, it's more of a glow I would say. So I like to use this kind of just on the high points of the cheeks where we bronzed and then I just blend that in afterwards. And it's in the shade Goddess too if I didn't say. So next I'm going to take my Wild and Radiant palette. I love this to give a bit of a colour, a little bit more colour to the skin and it also sets the cream products in place just a smidgen without taking away the glow. I'm going to go in with the tan shade from the palette, that kind of goldeny brown and just apply it lightly. You don't need to use too much because in the actual harsh light of the sun it can look a little bit uh, patchy. So I just like to apply a light hand of it just over any areas that we've bronzed and where I want a bit of a glow to come to kind of shine through. And I kind of use that lighter shade from the palette on my body. Yeah, like that. Okay, finally for the skin to complete the glow on the cheeks, I'm going to take a couple of shades from my Focalore Highlighter palette. I'm just going to take that kind of orangey gold shade and apply that over the cheeks just to intensify the bronzed glow and I also like to apply it very very lightly on my forehead like above the brow. I don't like doing a lot of highlight like actually in this region because it can turn to oil. And I don't want to accentuate that so I actually prefer to keep it focused more on the cheeks and I do like a light wash on like above the brow. Then for this very high point here on the cheeks I'm going to take this star uh, highlighter from the palette and apply that just to this spot here. And I'll 
touch it just on the high point of the brow bone too to give a bit of lift to the skin and the face. So for the eyes, I'm actually going to do a kind of wet glossy look to really tie in with the glowy skin and I also kind of create that wet look to the skin using the same product. So first of all, I'm going to take that bronzy shade that we used from the Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminating Bronzing Palette from BH Cosmetics. I'm just kind of do a wash of that over the lids and then taking it through the crease on a fluffy brush and just kind of smoking it out and then taking it on the bottom lash line a little bit on the outer corners. I know it's a shimmer but I really like it just for a bit of a bronze glow look. I would never usually put shimmer through the crease or on the bottom lash line because it can accentuate the lines under your eyes. But I'm not dragging it down, I'm literally just keeping it quite focused toward that bottom lash line, just here. And not bringing it all the way in, just focusing it on this outer portion here. So you're not grabbing onto any of those like inner corner wrinkles. Now this part is optional. I do like to apply the smidgiest, smidgiest bit of eye coal to my outer third of my eye and just kind of buff it out to create a bit of a smoky smoky wing per se. I just feel like it gives a little bit more definition to the lash line otherwise it can kind of the lashes can kind of get a little bit lost. And then just grabbing any kind of brown shade, I'm just going to take Mount Eliza from this Vocalore travel palette and just smudge it out. Just smudge it out. Mm, it sounds like a Dora the Explorer song. I don't know why that got in my head, <laughs> but it did. Just smudge it out. Mm. Mm, just smudge it out. Brow, brow. Just kind of like that. Just a little bit of a smoky liner. Just a little bit for a bit of definition to those lashes. So like I said, I'm going to do a bit of like a kind of glossy lid, glossy skin, glowy skin. You know, that whole shebang effect. So I'm going to take this Kevin Aquan Diamond Eye Gloss. And then just going in and tapping it onto the center of the lid. And in summer particularly, I've really gotten into like that wet look. And then what I'm going to do is apply to the high points of the cheeks. I love this stuff so much. Just keep in mind, like if you go swimming in it, it's 100% just going to wear off. It's not a long wearing product. And I'm just going to quickly go in with a little touch of my oil mascara. Just to my top lashes only. And then to finish off the skin, I'm going to take this Kat Von D Locket Setting Spray. For lips, I'm going to take this nude Napoleon Purtis like lip gloss and literally that's all I'm going to apply to my lips today. Just to kind of continue that kind of wet look. So this guys concludes today's very glowy, beachy kind of Brazilian babe makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's very glowy, very tan, very dewy. And it's still like lay natural, you know what I mean? Like it's not too intense. The skin isn't like full coverage. It's just very dewy, very glowy, very like all natural. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up if you did and subscribe down below to my channel so you don't stay, so you don't stay, <laughs> so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos, tutorials, vlogs, and things like that. Otherwise, guys, I will see you in my next video. Hope you have an amazing week. I love you all so much. Thank you for your beautiful support, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.